Hi everyone, Elizabeth Doe here with the Elizabeth Doe team at Keller Williams Realty. Thank you so much everyone for all your support in the last week. Um, and I wanted to kind of bring everything together as far as what we've been going through and our current clients that are in the marketplace within the last six weeks. So I wanted to share with you some, some very brief slides um, about the main questions that we have right now and also some slides that might solidify maybe something that we all feel could happen in the next month, you know, year, um, or a couple years, okay? So um, just a little background about myself. I am a graduate at Cal State Fullerton in Juvie in Finance and Economics. So I'm all about the numbers and, you know, getting a lot of data is really important for me and being able to share it with you and your family. So again, reach out to us for some very specific data about your area. But in the meantime, let me give you a quick snapshot um, in this video about the questions that we are receiving, okay? So you'll see here, these are the top five questions and even myself, um, very curious about what is going to happen next. And a lot of this information is you know, the economists are trying to relate it back to 2008, which is natural because that is actually where uh, we benchmark everything is based on our last downturn cycle, okay? So you'll see here, the next couple slides will give us a little bit more insight on these questions here, okay? So let's look at annual home appreciation, okay? So real estate has always been a long-term investment, okay? So if we're getting about 5% in home appreciation per year, or a little bit under, we're doing really well. So you'll see the last market, 2008 Great Recession, we were double digits on home appreciation, a little too high, okay? But you'll see in this current market, prior to the shelter in place, we were performing really well, okay? Because again, when you buy a home, it's a long-term investment. Okay, so you'll see here, numbers, in my opinion, were pretty good, okay, coming into the situation we're in right now. And then you'll see here that the months of inventory are so important, it's supply and demand. So if we remove the pandemic situation, we still have to monitor a neighborhood based on the supply and demand. So we would base on how strong your home was performing prior to the shelter, and then we can actually look at it right now. How many homes are on the market? How many homes actually you know, went under contract quickly? And how many have actually sold through this shelter in place? And you'll be very surprised, especially for Orange County, how well the market has been performing, okay? Now let's look at equity cash out. So the biggest, problem we had in 2008, and we don't like to repeat the history, right, is that we cash out a lot in our homes to buy other properties, to buy investment properties, to put in that new roof. So we lived out of the equity of our home, okay? But you'll see that currently we're not doing that. That's actually a very strong indicator as well. Again, we could talk more about it. Um, and then you'll see the unemployment. Obviously, this is devastating for a lot of us who know someone or yourself who has lost a job um, or been furloughed or maybe a temporary layoff situation, okay? So, um, and my heart's out to all of your families on that. Um, but you'll see here, unemployment is double digits right now. A lot of it's gonna be temporary, hopefully. And I'm hoping, and also a lot of the data out there showing that those jobs could be filled in other sectors. And again, that's usually what happens in a recession. New opportunities are created and people shift into other careers, okay? So we gotta monitor unemployment rate though, very important. Now, the next slide you'll see here is talking again about the equity in our home. So we didn't cash out equity recently, but we also retaining a lot of equity. So there's no fire sales, so to speak. People are not forcing themselves to put their home on the market to sell for a very low price. So that's very positive. 
as well, okay? So one more slide I think is enough for you today um, because it's a lot of you know economics and finance, a very heavy topic, right? But let's talk about the median income in order to qualify, okay? So Orange County again, uh, LA, Riverside, um, which is very local to us, very unique as far as um, the amount of positions, jobs, service sector out there. So a great indication of what we want to look at when we're looking at home buyers, because we need home buyers in order to purchase the, the current inventory and move the market, right? So you'll see we're, we're, we're holding very healthy here as well. Again, all this information is very, very basic um, as far as national, but to take it into more of a local level and then into your specific neighborhood, you'll have to reach out to us so we can give you some data. And it's okay, if you're not looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate right now, that's not what our team is here to um, teach you. It's really to help you understand your area and what may be some financial advice that you may need in order to maybe make a long-term decision in the future. Or maybe just help you in relating to any fears that you may have uh, but overall, um, you know, our team's always here to help you. We hope that we can see you soon. Um, you know, you guys know that our October event um, is quite the hit, and we're hoping by then um, the shelter will be uh, lifted and all of us will be very confident again to go out and enjoy life. So thank you very much, everyone, and you have a wonderful week.